One of the largest gold and copper mines in the world, the Freeport Mine in Papua, has halved its uh, operation, its production there, after more than 500 workers have continued to, to block off the access to the, to the mine, basically paralyzing the whole area. Uh, logistics are running short uh, for the workers at the mine, the families who are living there. Basically, a pipe was, uh, was sabotaged, as the company calls it, so they couldn't really uh, transport any gold or copper to the harbor anymore. So the company is now asking and demanding the authorities in Jakarta and in Papua to uh, restore security in the area after uh, at least three uh, people have been killed uh, last Friday and two people actually died after a clash with the police earlier. The workers are demanding higher pay. They are demanding a pay raise of 300 percent. The company is now willing to pay around 25 percent increase. So there's still not a solution to the, the strike that has been going on for at least five weeks now. And in total, the workers are saying they will strike for at least two months or at least until their demands are being met. The whole situation is creating lots of tensions in Papua because at the same time there's a group of uh, Papuans uh, discussing their independence uh, demands that have been uh, uh, released since the 1960, basically, when uh, the uh, Papua was, was handed over by the Dutch uh, uh, authorities to Indonesia, according to the Papuans, in an illegal way. So a lot of tension there, and the president, uh, the government here in Jakarta is urged to basically act pretty soon now.